Hey, hi everyone. Today we'll see how we can use Python as an ETL tool. First, we'll know what is an ETL. ETL is an abbreviation for extract, transform, and load. The first step in ETL process is extract, where we extract data from multiple sources like flat files, REST APIs, CRMs, and more. Then the next step is transform, where we transform the data according to the business requirements or logic. The third step is to load the transformed data into data warehouse or target system. Now we'll see how to pull data from an API using Python and load it into any of the databases. So for this, we need to import three packages first. Import request. Using request package, we can perform CRUD operations that is get, post, put, delete and more on an API. We'll import pandas. This is to convert the JSON data we receive from an API to data frame. And the third one is SQL Alchemy. Using SQL Alchemy, we can create a connection between database and Python. So, we'll create a variable called URL and we'll assign our API link. This is an open API which provides real time cryptocurrency data. Now, now we will create a dictionary and pass all the headers required to access the API. So, these two are the headers we need to pass to access this API. If you are trying to pull organization data from an API, it should be authorized with an API key. So, make sure to pass all the headers in the form of key value pair in the headers. We will use get method to pull data. Response equal to start. Okay. Pass URL and headers here. We we'll print the response and see. Execute the file. The status code is 200, which means the request has succeeded. Create another variable response data to show the day JSON data. Use JSON method response of JSON in the JSON data. The API is written cryptocurrency data. If you see here, our actual data is a value to the key data. So it is nested. We need to normalize this. So we'll use this normalize function. The frame equal to and thus. response data and pass the key which we have to normalize that is data to print the data frame Now we see it is in the form of rows and columns. To push this data to database, we have to create a connection first. Here is the syntax. I'm creating a connection between Microsoft SQL Server and Python. So typing it as MSSQL plus PyODBC. If you want to create a connection between Python and any other database, just go through the documentation of create engine. Pass the server name here. I'm using local database name and use two SQL method to push the data to the table. Name it as fact crypto and to the connection pass the engine we created. If you want to load this column as well, make the index as 
true if not just put it as false and another parameter called if exist we can pass three values here fail replace and append if there is no table created use fail if there is already a table created with the name fact crypto and you want to replace it use replace if you want to do incremental load use append for now i'll use fail this out and execute the file this succeeded i'll go to our ms sql refresh the table there's a table called fact crypto Here you can see data from API got loaded into SQL Server. Thanks for watching.